Rodriguez here, real estate agent with Keller Williams, New York. And I wanted to make this quick video about how it's been for me moving out on your own. Should you do it if you're still living with parents, siblings, whoever it is? Quick answer, yes. And the main reason why, there's really three main things, maybe a fourth one. So the first one I would say is environment for sure. Second one, privacy. Third one, self-awareness. And the fourth one may be a bonus if it comes to my mind, I completely forgot about it. So first thing is environment. As you can see, you get to create your own environment because now obviously you're not home and you have more control over that. When you're at, when you're at your house, there's more for you to get distracted and there's more things going on in other people's lives that you have no control over. So you could be sitting in the living room, somebody turns on the TV, now you have to relocate to another room. You could be in that other room, you could hear people arguing from the kitchen or whatever the case is. Now you have to now you have the ability to set up your environment the way that you want it to and to narrow in on the things that you actually want to focus on versus everything else that's going around the house. The second thing I would say is self-awareness. The reason why self-awareness, and actually before we cover self-awareness, I want to cover privacy, because that's something huge. If you ever want to bring anybody to your home, and not really care about what other people are going to say around your, around your house based on the friends, women, whoever it is that you want to bring, you have the ability to do that now because your house, your rules. So you get to set up your own rules and whoever you want to bring to your home and however you want to dress. If you want to wake up one day and sleep butt ass naked, you can do that too. In fact, I'm actually just wearing this shirt right now, this jacket and nothing else. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously I'm wearing socks. But the third thing I would say is self-awareness. Self-awareness, you have to be completely self-aware with who you are if you wanna be able to be more aligned with your goals and know exactly where you wanna go next. So it allows you the ability, because there's less distractions, to become more, more self-aware with who you are as a person by day to day because now you're living with yourself, right? So now you're gonna become aware of little things that maybe you don't like too much about yourself and then you're gonna start changing here and there. Oh, I, I noticed that. I leave the kitchen messy or whatever it is, I gotta go fix that. So every night I make sure that my kitchen is completely clean, there's no dishes on the, on the sink, everything is fine. If that's something that you have to work on, it, it allows you to see that and say, okay, I gotta work on that. You know, so it, it allows you to even become more disciplined because now you have to handle things on your own. So self-awareness for sure. And the fourth one actually, I'll throw it in because it just came back to my mind, is you actually get the relationship with, between your, your parents and your siblings actually strengthen. So if you live with your parents or whoever it is in your family member or in that household, that relationship is gonna strengthen. One of the things that I noticed is that since I've been away from the house, my presence when I return with my parents is more appreciated than I'm always than versus when I was always there. When I was always there, it was just okay, he's here, like He's gonna be here tomorrow and the day after and the day after that, I'll see him then, cool. So that relationship starts to strengthen and people start to take who you are more into consideration from the household. So, because now you can hold your own and you're your own man or woman if you're moving out on your own and you're a woman. So those are four main things that I would say that I can clearly see since I've moved out on my own. And if you are planning on making that jump, I would say absolutely go for it night and day different and it's funny that I asked that to BC my mentor Brian Casella in the first event that he had over there in California I was like yo planning to move out what do you think he's like do it night and day difference I waited like a whole eight nine months to do it uh, get my finances right whatever it is but man it was so worth it now that I finally did it and I'm able to narrow in on the things that I actually want to do and I can move forward with my life now that I've accomplished this stage and I can proceed with the journey. So definitely, I would recommend it 100%. Like the video, give me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. Again, Jose Rodriguez with Keller Williams, New York. And another thing I wanna put out there, I have access to one of the most elite prestigious agents all around the country. With my Facebooking groups that I'm in, networking events that I go to, I meet so many people every single day. So if you have any real estate needs anywhere across the, across the globe, definitely feel free to hit me up and we'll take care of you for sure. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys. Later.